backups. Oh, backups, backups, backups. You know, so many, so many things uh, that a backup will will save you from. Uh, have backups of backups. Have immediate backups of your work. Save your work frequently. Uh, have systems that do automatic journaling in case your system goes down. Um, uh, in Vax days, I remember that journaling feature saved my bacon so many times, saved me hours and hours of work because I wouldn't uh, save on a regular basis. Um, yeah, uh, backups of backups, different types of backups, and as we uh, mentioned in audit, in terms of the, you know, backing up the audit trails, do you have an immediate local backup? Do you have a, uh, a backup on, uh, on site? but in a different location or, or just, you know, off the machine somehow. And it may, you know, simply be removable media. Oh, you've never heard of removable media? Everything's in the cloud? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, floppy disks are passe, I guess, these days. Jump drives, though. I mean, you know, uh, they're pretty cheap these days, and you can store an awful lot of information on them. Uh, make a copy to your, uh, to your laptop, uh, from your desktop machine. Um, you know, just so many uses for backups and, and so many, uh, problems that they will, uh, fix for you. Everybody is concerned about ransomware, uh, these days. And, and basically, I mean, if you've got backups, who cares? Uh, you know, don't pay them. I mean, it's not effective anyways. 75% um, of cases of people who pay the ransom, more than 75% in, in some cases, uh, in some situations, um, just indicate that, um, you know, even if they pay the ransom, uh, they don't get everything back. And uh, sometimes it's just nothing. Uh, sometimes the, the ransomware providers can't uh, provide it because there's a bug in their particular uh, software. Um, uh, sometimes they just don't care. You know, they're not exactly in the, in the repeat business business. Um, yeah, uh, but if you've got, if you've got backups, you know, who cares? Uh, don't pay. Uh, I mean, by I always say don't pay because uh, even if they were to give you back your stuff, um, you are then funding organized crime. But anyways, that's... Uh, well, I mean, no, it, it does have to do with operations because the uh, if we're uh, doing that with, with operations, uh, it is increasing our risk overall so um yeah uh anyways not not paying is is going to reduce your risk because if you know there's no profit motive for them um well there you are anyways we talked about you know uh immediate backups local backups um off-site backups, I mean, you know, in a sense, the cloud is uh, um, a, an example of that. Uh, as long as you know you can trust that particular cloud provider. Uh, you know, cloud just means somebody else's computer. It's, you know, that other person is giving you cloud storage, but not uh, taking care of their own backups and their own uh, resilience and, and continuity planning. Well, uh, anyways. Uh, so, um, different types of backup, of course. 
um, the full backup. You, you back up everything. Um, and I, you know, it's interesting, different situations that uh, there's just so much data that they are uh, backing up that it takes an awful lot of time. I, uh, one uh, finance company um, that was uh, backing up their stuff and, and they did it on the weekend because, you know, most of the people weren't working on the weekend. But, I mean, they did still have to tell people, you know, don't work on the weekends. We're going to be doing a backup on this particular weekend. And then it got to the point where it took the entire weekend to do the backup. And uh, so they had to start saying, okay, well, our backup weekends are long weekends. And then it got to the point where even the long weekends were not long enough. So, yeah, but that full backup takes the most time to perform the backup, but by the same token, um, is the quickest in terms of restoration because you just take the full backup and you apply it. Now, uh, then there are is um, uh, differential backup, um, which is the, the difference between uh, the last full backup. You know, it only copies files that have been copied since the last full backup. And so, you know, it's, it's going to shorten the time that you're doing uh, that. Um, now, that means that you shorten the time in terms of making a backup, but it does take longer to restore because you have to take the last full backup and then uh, the latest differential backup, uh, backing up all the stuff that has changed. And of course, over time, uh, you know, more and more files change and, and so eventually you get to the point where it, you know, you're pretty much making a full backup anyway, so you have to do another full backup and then start again in terms of the incremental backups. All right, sorry, differential backups, because incre incremental backups uh, means that you only back up the files that have changed since the last backup of any kind. So um, you make a full backup, and then you make, you know, next week, an incremental backup, any files that have changed this week. And then the week after, you make another incremental backup only of the files that have changed since the previous incremental backup, the last weekend. So, um, incremental backups are the fastest to perform in terms of the backups, but it also... Um, uh, takes the longest time to do the restoration because you have to have the last full backup and every incremental backup in order. Uh, it is important that you apply, in terms of the restoration, you apply the backups in the proper order because various files may have been changed multiple times and you want to ensure that you get not only all the changes, but the latest version of the files. So, uh, again, in terms of backups, uh, interesting here that you've got this trade-off between how much time it takes to make the backup and how much time it takes to restore. And, of course, you want to restore every once in a while just simply to test that the backups are good.